Welcome back to the channel, I'm Fivefinger Tree Punch, and this is week 39 of the Hardcore series. Work a little bit on this bridge, as you can see, it's still not as secure as I would have hoped it had been. That's why I'm dealing with a ghast right now, because they are all over the place around here. I don't know if they increased the spawn rate of ghast, but yeah, they're out of control. And uh, go back to the bastion a little bit and do a little more looting, looking for some more gold. And yeah just working on this bridge mostly kind of needs a overhang on it because the guests don't seem to care that I'm on the bridge while I'm working because they just keep shooting me like that look you just you shot through that little bitty hole inconceivable I sat here and tried to bounce these back uh, I believe somebody asked a question about why these fireballs weren't breaking the blocks because I was standing inside the break base last episode and it wasn't breaking the floor and that's because of the damage that the fireballs do isn't great enough to break the floor. Now it would break the walls because the blast resistance of the walls uh, are quite less. Uh, I think this fireball does about one, has about power of one so the floor is well above one. Uh, I'll probably put some notes on there some tips on blast resistance and why it didn't take down the walls and of course you can't have a, a week in the nether without battling hoglins just wanted to grow some fungi and yeah they're just giving me the business as usual business as usual around here in the nether and so i wanted to grow some more fungi so i can get some i want some warped stems so i can make some planks but I haven't found a warp forest yet. Yeah, I'm still running around in this crimson forest right now. I did venture out a little bit, and that was another reason I wanted to do that bridge going out the north side. But if you do throw bone meal down on this this sort of dirt, the new dirt here in the nether, it will eventually give you warp fungi. If you throw it down on the red dirt, it's not going to give you warp fungi very often, but it will eventually give you the warp fungi. If you're if you if you're having trouble finding a warp forest, which I am having, and I'm also having to deal with hoglins. And that's why I want warp fungi. As you can see right there, they run away because I got those two warp fungi sitting there right outside the entrance of this walkway. And right there, yeah, got a warp fungi. So eventually you will get one and I decided Instead of trying to go out there and find an empty spot to do this in, I did it right here next to the warp fungi I already had sitting down, because then they'll just run off and I don't have to deal with them. And yeah, I was running around in the bastion, trying to look for some more loot, but yeah, I was having to deal with this invisibility issue again. This one's not, this one's hitting me too, but there's also, right there, something hit me, but I can't see them. So I don't know if it's still an Optifine issue, but I do need to do some more research on that. And yeah, I was digging into this big wall of blackstone that I generated with this bastion. And yeah, I just kept digging around the bottom and found some more blocks. And of course, gold, blackstone, ore. And yeah, got those more gold. I can always use more gold because I can trade it with the piglins that I have to set up with the buttering because it gets off, gives off a, quite a bit of loot. And this is just how, I didn't know exactly how I want to do the canopy, but this is what I went with. Probably gonna almost, it's almost gonna be a tunnel really after I'm finished because yeah, the gas will just shoot through any little peaky hidey hole that they can see me through and will shoot me, but as long as I get a good overhang on it and the sides are kind of done up, I shouldn't have too many issues if they hit me once or twice while I'm walking around. Not a problem. Shouldn't be a big issue as long as I get most of this covered up. So yeah, do spend a little bit of time doing this. I went with more blackstone bricks on the top. Of course I'm using slabs, you know, just so I get more bricks out of it. I thought he was a whole block, and, you know, it would take up way more materials. Not that it's terribly hard to find them, but, you know, it is time consuming trying to get a bunch of those blackstone bricks. And, yeah, I was running a little low on coal, so at least I thought I was. Uh, I was gonna try and <laughs> smelt up some of the crimson wood 
stems that I had gotten, not realizing that you cannot burn those into coal, and yeah, because I believe they are fire resistant, so it only makes sense that you wouldn't be able to smelt them for coal since they are fire resistant. Unfortunately, so even though I can use buckets of lava, I can't make torches without coal, so that is one reason I'll have to eventually come back and forth to the oval world. So, figured since I was here, go ahead and do some mining. Maybe I'll find some more diamond. And yeah, this is kind of the finished product of what the bridge is pretty much done. Might do a little more covering, but yeah, that's pretty, pretty good like that. I like the way it came out. And I used those uh, new lanterns that they have that you use the soul soil with the to make torches and then you could turn that into a lantern like you would do normally for the old lanterns. But yeah, came out pretty decent and just needed a couple more on the top. Uh, looks pretty nice. I like the way it came out. I have a safe passage to the north. And yeah, when we're messing around with the hoglins a little bit more. Just, there's so many hoglins and they, I do believe they generate in groups or herds, so to speak. But yeah, and just a little side note, uh, I am going to continue to try to do the hardcore series, and but I am going to be starting a new SMP, it's going to be called Midnight SMP. It made me think about it because of these hoglins, because my first attempt into the nether on the SMP, yeah, I ran into hoglins, and I was not wearing diamond armor, and they nearly killed me. I'm going to try and not die on the SMP. It's only been like two days, but I've already gotten really close to dying twice because the server is set to hardcore. Well, not hardcore, but it's on hard mode, so everything hits quite hard. And, yeah, I am not well equipped yet. Got a little bit of diamond so far, but yeah, still working on a lot of mining just so I get a good amount of materials to get myself set up decently on the SMP. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the uh, episode this week. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and smash that thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the latest updates, and I'll see you next week in Hard Work 4, week 40, hopefully fairly soon, but you're definitely going to see me on that new SMP, the new episode of that should be coming out soon, and I will see you! <laughs>